What's up you guys? My name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new. Today's video is a little get ready with me tutorial on this look. The emphasis is definitely just on making the skin look as good as possible with as little product as possible. I didn't use any foundation for this look but the focus was on the skin and just making it look really nice and naturally beautiful. <laughs> um, I also did add a little bit of a wing to my eye with eyeshadow and some false lashes on the outer corners of my eyes to kind of pull out and lift and add a little bit of drama. My natural lashes are kind of disappointing so lately I've been really using my lashes, my fake ones. That's really it. Nothing in the eyes, no foundation. Of course I did shape my face a little bit and highlight it a little bit if you can't tell. Ooh, I love the way this Fenty Beauty highlight is highlighting my life. When I'm out in the sun, this stuff does have a lot of sparkle, so it does look kind of different than it does right here, but I just love it regardless. Like, it really is extra, and when you're taking photos and videos, like, it's there. You will not not see it. Anyways, if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then we'll just jump into it. I've put on eye cream, my Burt's Bees Smoothing Eye Cream Thirst No More Moisturizer. Next, I'm going to use my MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. I'm just going to put this where I typically like my highlight. And it has like a silicone-y feel, but at the same time, kind of liquidy. I'm going to use the Catrice Dewy Wet Look Stick. A little bit glittery, but other than that, I like it. It gives a nice glow, healthy look. When I use it on these kind of makeup days where I don't have foundation on. So I'm putting this basically where I put the strobe cream. Sometimes I find doing like five extra steps for one thing kind of makes the look better. I'm trying my best to make this look good today. I have reshot this a lot and I already did my brow with my elf ultra precise pencil and neutral brown cleaned them up a little bit yeah brows are brows they're not my favorite and they were a little pesky today but here we are nice sharp little thin bristles so I would recommend something like that. I'm going to use the James Charles palette. I'm going to use Benny and I might dip into Spooky a little bit throughout this lining process just to make sure it's dark enough. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and line the eyes. I'm going to be looking at my mirror right here so I don't know how amazing it's going to show on the angles and everything. I'm going to keep it really thin. I'm going to keep it kind of just on the outer portion. This is just going to give me a little bit of ease for my lash application, add a little bit of definition and drama to the eye without it really being noticeable with it having a little bit of a natural esque feel to it since it's shadow it's a little bit less um, harsh i'm also probably gonna wing it out just a little bit because i like to add a little angularity <laughs> thought a word dipped a little bit into black and brown like a mix I don't want it to get too high up there. I am going to wing it out a little bit so it does look a little weird. I don't want it to be too much because I really don't want it to get up here and that happens really easily for me. I winged it out and yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm going to use Morphe E27 and dip into some translucent powder. Just dust a little bit through my crease and this will just keep things dry, I guess. So hopefully things don't crease. No color or anything, just a little bit of powder. I am going to put on some mascara and and lashes. I'm gonna use my Coco lashes in Queen B and I'm gonna use my duo lash glue and I'll let you guys know what mascara I use as well. Not 100% sure yet, but I'll be back looking a little bit cuter. Got them on, touched up the eyeshadow liner just a little and I used Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which I need a new tube of, but it's my favorite. Time for the complexion, which is like my favorite part of this look. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer in Vanilla, which this stuff has a really good amount of coverage. And if you can't see, I have a lot of discoloration right here. Broken capillaries, I don't know. I like to conceal here. It helps me um, with my, what's it called? contouring as well and bronzing. I'm not going to really highlight with this stuff. I like my Too Faced stuff better. It like lasts longer and doesn't move around as much, but I am going to get blemish areas. So when I do highlight, there's already coverage. I'm also going to use this concealer to get right here where I have a really dark scar and a current blemish. I'm going to use the Morphe M504 to just kind of buff this out onto the skin. This stuff is really good. The coverage is so there. I don't really like the way this brush feels, so I'm going to use the BS Small Face Around. 
and I usually like to use a Maybelline sand concealer. It's a little bit darker. I'm basically just trying to even out my complexion, make it look a little bit more flawless, I guess. I will use Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and that will be more of my highlighting. Go in with the same brush on the chin, basically just brighten it up. Before I forget, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Just give a little bit more moisture to my eyes. For this look, I typically don't do anything like shadow and mascara wise down here so i like to have it nice and moist so that there's as little creasing as possible i'm gonna use a damp real techniques expert sponge or whatever and i'm gonna get in between my eyebrows a little bit too and then just pull it up right up here just the whole nose region a little bit and i feel like i do want just a little bit more just a little bit more okay so now for under the eyes gonna use the Too faced concealer same shade i'm gonna kind of go pretty high and then just kind of sweep it down this is actually more than i usually use wish me luck i just kind of wanted to sculpt the nose a little more but i'm gonna use a or my sponge to just full on blend it out i'm just pressing the product into my skin trying to evenly distribute it throughout this region Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. And then to set this concealer, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Mega Glow in Dulce de Leche. And then I'm gonna use the little banana shade. Make sure I don't have any creasing, which went on pretty nice and well. I'm gonna set under the eyes. I'm gonna focus the product right under the eyes and a little bit up in the inner corner. A concealed and set eye and a not concealed and set eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye, but I'm just gonna save some time and do it off camera. I'm gonna use Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 220 and the same brush. I'm gonna hit the center of my face. This will keep me nice and matte, but it also kind of just does something nice to my pores, so I like it a lot. I'm not really sure on how much to like color to add to my face because I have a little bit of a tan left and I'd rather add a little color than not if I can. Next I'm going to use the same powder with a Morphe E2 brush and it's actually a different shade. It's like one or two shades up, shade 240. This is typically a little dark for me but I'm using it to kind of blend into my tan and I'm kind of just hitting where I haven't yet. Not the center, just like the perimeters. I would definitely recommend cream contouring if you're good at all that but i'm not so i'm gonna do powder for adding some definition to my face and stuff i love a little color on my face so now we will shape the face i need a reflector like someone hold a reflector right here i'm going to use anastasia powder contour kit i'm gonna use this one right here and i'm using some brushes that don't have numbers on it but they're from morphe this one is a small angled one and yeah i'm gonna contour my nose and my chin and the key to a slimmer nose is gonna be placing that contour shade pretty close in on the center of the nose like you basically want to just hug where you want to highlight sometimes i use a smaller brush and i will kind of add a shade right in here and i'll kind of give a little bit more of the and i feel like i did get a little bit of bronzer right in between my eyebrows so i'm just using what's left on my sponge now to start my cheek contouring i'm gonna use that maybelline fit me powder in 360 and i know i've been using this in a lot of videos it's just a really good way to contour and i will definitely invest in other powders like this so it's like changed up a little bit um, so it's not too repetitive, but yeah, I'm just gonna use this to kind of start off my contouring of the cheek area And then I'll probably dip into that cool tone shade to kind of neutralize it because this is a little warm But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so. And I'm just pressing it in and then I'm just dipping in once and I'm going right here hitting right under the jawline and then we're gonna hit that double chin. So I will dip in just a little bit into the cool tone shade. Oh, I wanna try a new bronzer as well, but I forgot until right now. So we're gonna be a little extra bronze. But True Match Lumi Bronze It. This stuff has a shimmer to it, but had really good reviews. So I got medium and I'm gonna use my blush brush from Real Technique and sweep that around. I, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that just totally gave me a glow. I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Flawless Face brush and i'm gonna use that for my blush and i'm gonna use milani luminoso shimmery blush very affordable 
it's a baked blush so it has a little bit of a sheen in there and i just find that the sheen makes it not sit as flat on the face look a little bit more natural so i will begin with highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner i'm gonna use mac nylon it's super pigmented you'll look like you have a little mirror pixel on your eye i want to kind of get it on camera but i have to like this mirror up to my face so sorry about it I am that girl that goes to school and work with a full face of makeup. Sometimes I go to work with green eyeshadow on. When I was going to college and even high school, I would put on makeup. I love makeup. And I just do it because it's fun. It's just like my little hobby. I like to get creative and stuff. That's why sometimes I do show up with colorful eyeshadow on and a wing and full face, you know? But this is nice for when I don't want to put effort and thought into it, when I have to wake up early and I just don't really want to waste time or run too late. I am going to use Jeffree Star Cosmetics Eclipse um, Blend That and then I'm going to hit the cupid's bow. Just doing a little bit on the forehead. Set some here and we're just going to keep it right in this region. This is kind of a big brush. I'm just kind of go in this little bit of a C shape right here. And then I'm going to kind of just blend it a little bit more than I usually do into the whole bronzer area. I just kind of like that look how it just is like whoo, so glowy within. So lit so lit so lit from within this stuff was i've been using i've used it a couple times not the biggest fan right now but i'm gonna just use it it's the shake and glow dumas from l'oreal pretty new it had good reviews so oh yeah there's something about the way it spits out that's just not enough so i'm gonna do a little bit of continuous morphe you can't beat that don't get on my lens. I'm gonna use my sponge just to tap out any dots that might have came from any of those sprays. And then I'm gonna just be a little extra today. The Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. But I noticed that I like it when I use a setting spray and then I kind of just tap it on. You see that? It was already shiny, but it just gives me like angel face vibes or something. So yeah, I'm gonna use this blush brush. Something I need to stop doing is picking up my brushes with my fingers like by the brush That's so gross and like bad for my brushes and dirty, but I've been doing that lately No product just blending everything in I use this Dollar Tree clear brow gel So here I am about to talk about Katie Lustrelux. So she got her eyebrows microbladed like just literally like two days ago I really want to get mine microbladed now literally everything she does I will do I really want to get them microbladed and then they will I'll have a couple of hairs that stand up straight i also want to try soak brows which was like her thing for the past like year or two which really like keeps the brows standing up straight i'm gonna line my lips do some lip action because sometimes like i don't p.s i know i have a light bulb missing out right there but the look is now completed i used mac strip down to line my lips just a little bit even things out it is definitely kind of warm to me it's not my favorite but i just want to switch it up i also used a mac lipstick this is creme de nude it's a little bit creamy it's a cream sheen and i also used my nyx harmonica extra creamy lipstick so that stuff's also a little bit extra creamy it has a pink color with a little bit of like shine after i did the cream sheen mac lipstick i kissed the back of my hand wiped it and then i did the nyx lipstick so i hope you guys enjoyed this look i hope that it makes you feel good if you recreate it let me know if you do i had one of my friends recreate my green eyeshadow look and i appreciated that so much you looked so bomb anyways if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're into the natural looks or this just like making your skin look real good i hope you guys have a good rest of the day or night wherever you're at i'll catch you real real soon in my next video we will see you later peace out goodbye